Hey YouTube, this is me, Kupal. But before I get this video started, I want you guys to go check out this YouTube guy's channel. He has an awesome jump shot. If any of you guys are into basketball, check out this channel. You'll love it. It's YouTube um, slash Burton Air 1986. He has an amazing jump, and I'm going to show you a sneak peek. But I want you to check out his channel. Link will be in the description. If you would like to have know how to get an advertisement for a video like this one, please private message me, and I'll tell you how to. Let's get on with the video for you guys so you guys can see it's obviously on Apple's website if you go to apple.com um, and you go to Mac which is here you can um, scroll down hold on it was down here before hold on Mac OS X okay if you go to Mac OS X like I just did and then here get to this page here um, so what they're doing is they it's being released in the summer of 2011. Don't hold me to this. I'm just saying what Apple's saying. It's, it says Mac OS X line arrives in summer 2011. So don't hold me to these words. This is just what Apple's saying. So basically what they're going to do is they're going to integrate some of the iPad iOS 4 features into Mac OS X Lion. And it, it, the way they did it, it seems pretty interesting with the pictures and everything that they've shown. So I'm gonna scroll down to here. They're gonna have like their little app store, which is great. I've had applications like Bodega, which I think um, I reviewed. I'll put an annotation if I even did review it. Put an annotation right about here. Just click on it if you want to see it. Don't click on it if you don't want to see it. So they're gonna put an app store with different apps, free. It's gonna be just like how it is for your iPhone on iOS 4. Real great, real great on. Um, Thing. If you would like for me to go more in depth in this, just leave comments, PM me, and I will go in depth. This is kind of just like a brief overview of all the different things in depth, if that makes any type of sense. Um, they're going to have a launch pad. So, how you have, how we have on our iPods or iPhones, or whatever, how we have applications like this on the screen. As you see here, it's going to be. Here, yeah, it's going to be a home screen for all your applications. Instead of, I guess, like this, I guess we'll have this too. I'm not too sure what's going to happen with that. But that seems pretty cool. And there's going to be, and there's going to be folders, which will be pretty cool to have on the desktop. I like that idea. Um, it would be great to see and play around with it when it does come out. Full screen apps. You can use your applications full screen. Um, which I kind of like so like having this just on piece of you know, as you see I have Safari open of course how it's part of the screen I think it's just gonna use my whole screen and just instead of using um, a part it takes up basically what Macs do is the screens are so big you don't you don't need to use all the screen what you will do is open up an application and it'll open up to its biggest point to the point where you don't need to scroll side to side for example, I can make this window smaller, like this for example, but I would have to scroll side to side. Um, Max do a great job of putting it to the biggest size so where you don't have to scroll side to side. But I always wanted a full screen option like this and I guess they're going to implement that into the new thing. They have mission control, which is like Max like command central. It's a powerful and handy new feature that provides you with a comprehensive view of what's running on your Mac. It gives you a bird's eye view of everything, including expose, spaces, dashboard, and full screen apps, all in one place with a simple swipe gesture. I really like this feature and I can't wait. I can't wait to play around with it. Sounds really cool. Those are some of the things that are coming out in Mac OS X Lion. I want I really wanted you guys to um, see this. Um, and for someone to go more in depth. But a little bit more about the App Store. They're saying the App Store brings a world of possibilities to iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. It's about to do the same for your Mac. I'm really looking forward to this. Really, really. Instead of um, going to Apple or downloading it off third-party websites, I'd rather download it from an Apple source. I already have an iTunes account. That would be great. It would be really great. Especially when they have updates and stuff. Um, the easiest installation I've already got. Pages, 
there's going to be updates and and um, I bet you they're coming up with games and stuff that they're going to start making for apps. But um, Coop that Helper, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you would like an advertisement like you saw at the beginning of this video, please comment or it's for leave me a private message on my YouTube channel and I will um, try to do the same for you guys. Um, if you guys want more information on that, click on the annotation, which is going to be right here. I'm telling you all the information you need to do to get an advertisement. Please follow me on Twitter, um, at Coop.Helper. Please subscribe to me on YouTube if you're already not. Um, it's that yellow button. Click it. You'll be, it's free. It's easy. You're just going to be notified whenever I come out with new videos. And I apologize for not coming out with new videos. School, I've been on YouTube, but I haven't been able to publish and edit videos because of school. Today's Friday, so I'm, I was able to launch this video really quickly for you guys. Sorry for that delay. I'm trying my best on YouTube. Um, but I, I, I don't want this to ever happen again. Peace. Developer. I know I already said it. Goodbye.